There are calls tonight for a New Jersey community to come together after some Jewish children wore blackface and Afro wigs as costumes for the Jewish holiday of Purim. Children usually dress up as historical characters to celebrate the festive holiday. CBS 2's Meg Baker has reaction tonight in Lakewood. Heather McKinnon posted these pictures of children in Lakewood Friday. Her daughter took them. She first sent me the picture of the um, child with the African dashiki on with the painted black face, and my mouth just dropped. Blackface has a long, disturbing history. In the 1830s, white actors in minstrel shows would paint their faces black with burnt cork or grease paint and is considered extremely offensive. McKinnon says the kids also dressed in Black Lives Matter shirts and Afro wigs. I'm not blaming the children, but the parents, they want respect, and I don't feel like they're showing other um, minorities or, you know, religions respect. Michael Insenbuck is general counsel for the school district. He says children were dressed up for the Jewish holiday Purim, a celebration of survival. The Jews were facing extermination uh, by Haman, H-A-M-A-N, the bad guy, if you will, in the story, and miraculously, uh, the, everything we say, Venahafahu, turned around, and that's the reason for the masks and things. He says Lakewood has a double edged racism problem. The city is diverse, a mix of Latino, black, and Hasidic residents. I have gone to games where I hear all kinds of words shouted out. I've had pennies thrown at me, but guess what? This is unacceptable. Fred Rush is the president of the NAACP in Ocean County. It's offensive. Uh, if I were to do that to the Orthodox community, they would see it offensive too. He hopes this is a learning experience. No kid grows up with hate. They have to be introduced to it. The NAACP is planning a Zoom conference with the mayor and Jewish community leaders to come up with a plan to educate children and their families about why this is so wrong. In Lakewood, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.